What's up guys, it's the Triple G Beast here, hope you're all having a fantastic week so far. I have been getting countless, countless emails, PMs, DMs, you name it. I've been getting swarmed with all kinds of requests from people asking me for an update on Zombie Attack Revelations. And... Usually, I pretty much just respond to those people directly. I basically say the reasoning behind why it's taking a bit longer, etc., etc., but I figure the best way to reach out to you guys is just, just simply make a quick update video, and it's a good way for me to really reach out to everybody. Plus, you guys have been so incredibly patient, and I really, really do appreciate it. I'm not just saying that. I really do appreciate you guys being patient as much as possible. With the exception of some people, yeah, I've even gotten death threats from some people because they just can't wait any longer, and I won't repeat some of the language they said, but let's just say it's, it's, yeah, yeah that happened. But there kind of have been a lot of things going on, uh, especially in these last couple months that have really taken a lot of my free time out, and I figured you guys probably deserve a quick heads up on what's been going on. So let me just quickly say some of the reasons in particular why Revelations has been taking so long to create. Well, firstly, I'm a busy guy. <laughs> you know, I can't stress that enough, and I know some people hear me say that time and time again, but there are still quite a few people out there who basically think I have nothing better to do than to just sit around playing video games, making videos 24-7. No, in real life, I am incredibly busy. I have a full-time job. I take some filming classes on the side as well. And I have a girlfriend who basically, if I play video games around, she gets very pissed off. And for those of you that already know what I'm talking about, you can understand why my time is so limited. So in a sense, that's the biggest reason is it's been incredibly hard for me to really work on anything just because you know, my free time is super limited. But for those of you that don't know, the people that already uh, follow me on Twitter and Facebook already know this, but recently, uh, in the past couple of weeks actually, my uh, computer's hard drive decided to completely crap out. Yeah, that happened. And what happened with my hard drive? I have absolutely no idea. I just got home one day and I saw the dreaded blue screen of death. And because I'm super arrogant, I didn't have any backup drives. So yeah, pretty much all my data on my computer was completely erased. So that really, really is putting me off and trying to make this episode get released even faster. So I've pretty much been hassling around trying to get all of the footage and clips, everything I need. I need basically been working really hard to compile all that and basically trying to restore all the work that was lost. Luckily, I didn't have to do any reshoots for episode four because all the footage was already saved in my GTA 5, but I do have to go back in there, re-record it, and I'm currently in the process of re-editing it, which sadly, I was uh, about 80% finished with the episode right before my hard drive crashed, so I've pretty much had to go back and I've been re-editing the scenes, and as you guys know, editing revelations is probably one of the most difficult things to do. So, yeah, luckily I didn't have to do any reshoots, but I'm currently undergoing the editing process, which is a big pain. So, in addition to my busy personal life, there's also my computer situation, so add that up and you can expect some heavy, heavy delays. And lastly, this is something that has really been pretty consistent ever since the release of Revelations. And holy crap, it's been a year since Episode 1 came out. And I know many people are pretty pissed off about that, which I totally understand why. But putting it aside my personal time as well as my computer situation, because of my computer that's recent, but something that's been pretty consistent throughout this whole year is problems with GTA 5 mods. For those of you that know, you've already understand the struggle, but for those of you that don't, I'll quickly explain. In order for GTA 5 to properly run mods, you have to install this function called Script Hook 5 and Nader Trainer. The issue is whenever Rockstar releases an update for GTA Online, and as of all you guys know, Rockstar has been releasing a ton, a ton of updates 
for GTA 5 this past year, just constant, constant, constantly. And while everyone can pretty much enjoy the updates for what they are, the problem is whenever Rockstar releases an update, it messes up that script hook 5 and native trainer. So every time it messes it up, basically mods are not functional and I pretty much am screwed. I have to wait for the person that is in charge of creating the script hook to go in there and fix it. And that can take days, sometimes even weeks. And this can happen, especially with a huge update, like with the Smuggler's Run DLC that came out, and also the Gun Running DLC. That really, really caused a huge problem with the script hook native trainer. And sometimes, and I don't know why, but even if Rockstar just releases a single car, like recently Rockstar released that Batmobile looking car called the Vigilante. They released that car and that messed up the script hook modding tool. <laughs> like seriously, just adding one car into the game can screw up mods for the entire game. And so again, there's really nothing I can do until the person that is in charge of basically creating the script hook and repairing it has to go in there, fix it. And again, I don't, we, no one knows how long it takes because it depends on how messed up the script hook tool is. So we have to wait until they go in there and fix it. And you know, it's basically a roll of the dice and how long it'll take them to resolve it. So you add all of that up and basically you're gonna be running into some heavy, heavy delays of GTA 5. Again, I know it sucks with the delays and I totally understand everyone's frustration, but again, there's just simply, there's things that are out of my control and I'm sure a lot of you guys can understand that. But for those of you that have been incredibly frustrated, again, I apologize, but understand that a lot of this stuff really just, it's out of my control, you know, it's out of my hands and you, you just gotta make do with what you can sometimes. However, in spite of all these crazy delays and things, there is some hope. I've Pretty much as I'm sure all of you guys know, Red Dead Redemption 2 was coming out, hopefully coming out spring of 2018 if Rockstar doesn't decide to delay it, which they very well might. They're notorious for delaying things, but I'm certain once Red Dead 2 comes out next year, it's probably going to shorten the frequency of times updates are released for GTA 5. However, it is very possible that there are two separate teams that are going to be working on GTA 5 in conjunction with Red Dead 2. So it's very likely you're going to have two separate teams working on each game. You could have one team that's still releasing updates for GTA and another team that's still working on Red Dead 2. However, it's also the possibility that Rockstar as a whole, it's going to be a lot more heavily focused with Red Dead 2 than GTA 5. So really, that sheds a lot of light onto the situation that we don't have to worry about the updates basically fucking up the mods every single time, no matter how small an update release is. So hopefully that'll really help out. In addition, I actually laid out a schedule for next year that I think is really going to help pump out these episodes a lot faster. I really don't want to dip in quality in terms of the episodes because what I have planned so far, and I am really excited to showcase these episodes to you guys, but for what I have planned, the episodes really are just going to get better and better, but because of that, they may take a bit longer to make. Hopefully, not with this crazy long gap with episodes releasing like it has been this past year hopefully it's not going to come down to that but like i said with the schedule i have planned out it's really hopefully going to help out with releasing these episodes if everything goes smoothly hopefully that'll really help so again guys i really do apologize for the crazy delay and i wanted to make a quick update for all of you because that's the quickest way i can reach out to everyone and uh, hopefully this helps people wondering like what the heck's going on hopefully now you're like oh, okay that makes sense and also because of the fact these episodes they are so complicated to make because of the amount of time and effort that i have to put into them it gets really tough when i try to work on basically any other video i'm literally making this video just shortly before i have to go out of town <laughs> like it's been crazy so please 
If you guys have any video ideas you would like me to see put out while waiting for Revelations, please feel free to leave a comment below. Go ahead and send me a tweet on Twitter. I actively check my Twitter. I also post on the Zombie Attack series Facebook fan page, which again, all of this is in the description. So if you guys have any kind of ideas you would like me to upload to my channel, please feel free to make a comment below, tweet at me, whatever you like to do. And I'll be more than happy to read as many of them as I possibly can. So again, guys, thank you so much for your patience. I really do appreciate it. And I would like to ask all of you to please bear with me because with the plan I have in motion for 2018, releasing Revelation should go a lot more smoothly. And we can pretty much all be happy from there. So that's it, guys. I love you all. I appreciate you all. I hope you all have a fantastic week ahead. If I don't hear from you by Christmas, I hope you all have wonderful holidays or happy Halloween, happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate, happy 2017. And if you don't celebrate anything, then happy get the fuck over it. And by the way, I was extremely skeptical about getting it. And while there are some hiccups here and there in terms of gameplay and frame rate and things, I highly recommend getting this game, Assassin's Creed Origins. It is incredibly fun. It's a lot better than I expected it to be, and honestly, just the world itself is massive, and it's super fun to explore, so solely for that reason, I highly recommend this game. I've been playing the shit out of it lately, and I just cannot stop playing it. So, <laughs> if you guys haven't already, if you're a huge fan of the Assassin's Creed franchise, I definitely recommend picking this one up. Alright guys, till next time, be sure to sub to the Triple G. Peace!